Hey guys, Antonio here from Portugal. Today I'm going to talk to you about NMEA 2000 networks. Stay tuned if you want to know more. So, today we're going to talk about NMEA 2000 networks. What are they? What are they good for? And how to implement them? So, first of all, what is NMEA 2000? NMEA 2000 is a multi-brand plug-and-play network communication protocol. That being said, this allows you to communicate between equipments or devices in your boat to your units, to your Lorenz or other brand units. For example, you can integrate your uh, outboard motor to your units and uh, see on real time what is the RPM, what is the impulsion, what is the temperature, um, what are the total running hours of your motor, etc. Um, very simply, it allows you to see all the variables that are communicating in this NMEA 2000 network, which is more or less the same as a CAN bus communication protocol that is present on almost all, um, on all cars. Okay? So, um, what are the main advantages of implementing an, M an NMEA 2000 network in your boat? Uh, first of all, I'm going to start with sharing information between different generation of units. For example, I have here an Elite Ti2 at the, at the console and I have an HDS12 Live at the bow. As you may know, these uh, two units are not possible to integrate via um, Ethernet. So, I can't share, for example, my, transdu my transducer uh, which is installed at the at the home. Uh, so what I did uh, for to share waypoints the, um, that I'm scanning um, in in the console, and I want to, for example, uh, mark a structure, set a waypoint on a on a brush pile, set a waypoint on a on a rock, set a waypoint on a on a point. Uh, and I want to see that same waypoint on the front. So what I did is I connected all my units um, together using an MAA 2000 and I'm sharing waypoints between both of them in both directions. So for example, if I, if I set up a waypoint in this unit, I will see the same waypoint on my HDS. And if I set a waypoint on my HDS, I will see that waypoint on my Elite Ti2, which I think is very good. Uh, this leads me to the last point of my video, which is how to implement NMEA 2000 networks. So, NMEA 2000 have been around for quite some time, and there are rules for implementing an NMEA 2000 network. First of all, you need terminators for your network. And many people ask this question, is it possible to implement an NMEA 2000 network without terminators? The answer is no, you can't. So here are, here is my NMEA 2000 rail. Here you can see one terminator in one end and here another terminator in the other end. Uh, these are the T's, the famous T's of, that constitute the NMEA 2000 network. So from one terminator, there is a T going out for my elite TI2 unit. From the other T, there is one cable coming out to my outboard engine. From the other T, there is a cable going out to power the NMEA 2000 network. And yes, you need to power the network, even if it's just for one sensor, connect to one unit. You need both the terminators and the power cable, okay? So here, the power cable, which is connected to my fuse box around here. I don't know if you can see, probably not, too dark. Um, and lastly, the last cable from the NMEA 2000 network that is connecting to my HDS12 at the bottom. So now I'm going to show you what information you can uh, see um, from my Yamaha engine using only NMEA 2000 networks. I didn't use any gateway, nothing, just the cable connected to the socket on the motor. So here we are at the console and uh, I'm gonna show you what information I normally use uh, uh, from my Yamaha engine. I normally navigate using a, a split screen between the map and the information from the motor. 
As you can see now, the information is uh, uh, zero based because I, I have the ignition off. I'm going to put ignition on and instantly I get information from the motor. It has 315 hours, I have voltage here, RPM, impulsion, of course uh, the, the engine is not running so the temperature is uh, zero or near zero and uh, that's it. Uh, you can add more information if you click in menu and uh, select here the, the panel from the, um, the information. You choose edit, select information and now here you have all the information that you have available uh, from your um, unit and from the um, NMEA 2000 network. So this is what I have selected and uh, that's it. To share the waypoints, there is a trick that you gotta do and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you wanna share waypoints between two units, you come here to settings, you navigate down to network or data network, this is in Portuguese, I'm sorry. Uh, then you navigate to NMEA 2000 and you put all these on. You receive waypoint on, send waypoint on, and illumination sync on. Uh, that's it. And this way you will be able to send and receive uh, waypoints from both okay. units. I hope you guys enjoyed one more video. If you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe button because I'll be uploading more videos about the Lorentz units and equipments very soon. Stay tuned and keep fishing.